If you combine the city and the county's population, one in three people lives in a food desert. One in three people lives in a food desert. That's 750,000 people. That is a staggering amount. So it's widespread affecting a lot of people. I don't know the exact number of food deserts per se, but I know that what it basically comes down to is most of North City and North County. Food access is a racial equity issue in St. Louis like everything else. Everywhere north of Delmore, they have either no grocery stores or they have no access to fresh fruits and vegetables or things that a um, community that is 95% African American would call a part of their culture. So. Food desert is an area, neighborhood, space where there is no um, actual grocery store or chain uh, in proximity of several neighborhoods for people to access to be able to have healthy produce, healthy food. I see the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities Director is uh, a resource and I provide programming for youth and families throughout the North County community. Uh, especially with two participating school districts, Riverview Garden School District and the Ferguson Florissant School District. And my initiative, Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities, is through the Missouri Foundation for Health to help combat youth obesity in North County. The disparities were just so grand as far as along that corridor that there was a need to see what was going on with our families, with our youth, and how they were living, um, treated, and things, opportunities that weren't there for them, uh, especially fresh produce, fresh access to healthy food. So, um, I mean, there are a lot of things we could sit here and talk about as far as access for uh, some areas of North County, but we're also looking at, that's a food desert area as well. Operation Food Search has been working in the Ferguson area for many years. As we were putting together a strategy that really made sense for the region, knowing that there are inadequate systems in place uh, that, that continue to perpetuate racial equity and that are real barriers for for some people being able to access healthy, affordable food just by virtue of what zip code they live in, we began to really look at, again, what are those root causes of the food system and how could we interrupt and disrupt that history of, of inequity. I think the mural is kind of like, you know, it's a way of uh, all of us together kind of staking our claim and saying like we're here, we want to change this space and the way that we can change it right now is starting small, building up, getting the community used to coming here and starting from the grassroots and working our way up instead of a top down approach. We cannot solve this issue by ourselves and we need everyone to join together. We need the private sector, we need the health sector. We need the academic sector. We need grocery stores. We need government. We need everyone coming together to understand that as long as our children and our families, our seniors are hungry in this community, that we will never be the best that we can be.